Praise God, friends. So we begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now is the time. Subscribe. And if you have not turned on the, on the bell button, please, right now is also the time. Turn on the bell button. Please, 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 please. So that every time I post something new, you get a notification. So please do that. Now, friends, today, I would like us to talk about detecting evil presence. Detecting evil presence or evil atmosphere. So, like I said before, um, in the previous video I made about, about hearing how does God speak to us and how we can hear God speaking to us, and I remember saying that there is a certain spiritual atmosphere in which you should position yourself in order to have your spiritual ears attuned to the voice of God. And then we went on to discuss on the various uh, ways in which God speaks to us. And those are not the only ways, but those are the ways that are familiar to me. So there may be other ways, other ways, but which are not familiar to me. I shared with you what's familiar to me. And I would like to remain here when I'm talking about some of these things to, to limit myself to, to sharing only what is familiar to me, either through experience or what I know. And I don't know it all. Okay. So today we want to talk about detecting, detecting evil atmosphere. Detecting evil atmosphere. Now, naturally, God has put some laws, if I may put it like that, or principles that govern our natural state. And within those principles, you are able to detect what is the status of affairs in you by nature. For example, hunger is, is a detector that God has given us so that we can eat. And when you feel hungry, the body is saying you need food. You need food. The body is in need of food. That's why you feel hungry. So hunger is that is the is the sign, the signal to show you what's going on. When you're thirsty, when you're thirsty, the thirst is a detector, a sign that your body needs water. And and and. Uh, and when your, when your body needs rest, it sends a message. And that message is, is in terms of sleep. You feel sleepy. When you feel sleepy, then you know that your body needs to rest. So these are some of the natural detectors that tell us something about the natural state of affairs of our life, our body. Now, we know that man is not just the body. Man, first of all, is a spirit being who has a soul and who lives in a body. So, man is, man is not the soul, man is not the body, Man is not the mind, 
but man is all of these things man is all of these things but first of all man is a spirit being a spirit being man is a spirit being man is a spirit being who has a soul and that soul lives in a body that's man and and of 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 the different um components of man the soul is the noblest this is the reason why um, it's 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 the body can be very good healthy and, and smart and all that when the soul is sick and god is concerned about your soul because with the redeeming of your soul you redeem the body but if the soul is not redeemed the body will die the body will not be redeemed now um, um when we talk about the noblest part of man being the soul we're not disregarding the body or making it something that does not matter the body is important the body is important the body is beautiful and the body is a special gift now um uh, if the body was not important like the the Al albigensian heresy was 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 um uh preaching then jesus wouldn't have come on us as a human being he wouldn't then too there will be no resurrection of the body but we know from scripture that on the general judgment at the second coming of jesus the 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 everyone who has died even if the body has turned to dust what will happen the soul will be reunited with the body the body will come back from the grave and be reunited with the soul but this time it's not this body we have with limitations it is body without uh, these limitations that we have so the bible calls it it will be an incorruptible body or a, a glorified body incorruptible and then those who are alive by that time if christ comes when there are people who are still alive they will not test death in the way others have tested death but the bible does tell us that their bodies will pass within the blink of an eye they will transform just from corruptible to incorruptible and then all will come before the judgment seat of God, the judgment seat of God, judgment throne. The righteous, the godly will rise to glory, the ungodly will rise to be judged, to condemnation. So the body is beautiful. But my point was, the, 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 the noblest part of us is the soul now if god can cause the body to have detectors when the body is lacking something or when the body needs something or even when there is a foreign there is a foreign uh, body within the body you feel fever, you weakness and all that. The Lord is showing you there is something wrong. There is a presence that's not needed in the body. And then you'll act upon it. That, that is all. Now if God can give such indicators for us to detect foreign bodies within our body or for us to know the affairs the state of affairs the natural state of affairs in our body such as uh, uh, inadequacy of water 
uh, need for food and all that, then also the noble part of us has detectors. No, spiritual presence, evil presence, just like good presence or holy presence can be detected by by us and the detection can either come through the natural uh, God can employ the natural instruments the natural part of man to detect the spiritual affairs or he can use this the the, 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 the the spiritual part of man to detect the spiritual affairs just like you can use the spiritual part of man to detect the natural affairs of the physical part of man. And, and now I want to go straight. You can detect evil presence around you, around your home, even in someone, in a person, you can detect evil presence. You can, if you're really, really, a, 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 a believer, a Christian. This is not something for some people. It's for believers. It's for all believers. And even sometimes when you're non-believers, there is a certain level of detection of evil presence they will, they will experience. Mm. So, and maybe some of these things I'm, I'm talking about has been happening to you but you're not aware that oh you were busy uh, detecting evil presence there were there was a lot of evil presence around you and you just did, did not know so number one and I will use my experience because experience is a, a the best teacher it's so that I don't just talk out of a theoretical point of view or academic point of view but a point of view in which I can say with St. Peter that these are not cleverly invented fables, but we are eyewitnesses to these things. That's why I love, I love to say of these things from an experiential point of view. Okay. So the first experience I have had that makes me know that, okay, this is a way in which I, for one, can detect spiritual presence, an evil spiritual presence around me or even in someone. Number one, it's sudden drainage of energy and fatigue. You will be in a place where there is a lot of evil and for no scientifically explained reason, say like you've not been sick, you're not sick, or you've not done, you've not done a heavy work that will rightly cause you to feel weak or, or drained in energy those are not there you are in an atmosphere of prayer and all of a sudden you begin to lose energy physical energy physical energy that also affects your energy in prayer you begin to lose it When that happens, know that there is evil presence around you. I'll give you my testimony. I remember one time I was called in this family where um, the head of the family was sick, really sick, and uh, went to the sitting room and, and we prayed and then decided to talk what is happening in the family and while we were talking 
I began sweating from nowhere, sweating from nowhere, and then the energy from my body was getting, and then you reach a point where I was feeling like I'm losing breath. And then I stopped the person and I said, you know, these experiences I am having, it is God's way of telling me that there is an evil presence, something evil around. And this one has happened before and it happened only when there was a charm around. So I'm feeling like this because it means around this compound, there is a charm somewhere. And I tell you, this person immediately confessed after hearing that. And then the person said, oh, you know, this sickness of mine has really tortured me so much. I have prayed and nothing has happened. And then a friend of mine suggested that I should go to someone. And that someone was a witch doctor. A witch doctor. And the witch doctor gave him charms. And as I was in that room, the man had put the charm in his bedroom. And uh, he brought it out and we burnt it in the room and immediately we burnt it. My energy began to come back and the man himself confessed and started laughing. I said, hey, my God, this is serious. I said, what is, the, what is it? He said, he said, suddenly he was feeling much, much better much much better so this is one way to detect evil presence and it's this this these are not things for some people if you sincerely enter in an environment of prayer you will detect evil presence you will detect it I, I, I also remember this experience where I went to pray in a home and, and charms were buried all over the compound and I almost fainted, almost fainted because of the drainage of physical power, physical energy. So when such things happen, especially when you are in prayer, this is a likely indication to you that there is evil around. There is evil around. And now you know where to focus your prayer point. Your prayer point. Then number two, from experience, when there is evil presence, as this one happens especially detected in someone there will be a constant you you find you're not hungry you're not sleepy but then there is a constant yawning unexplained breakout of constant yawning and and the frequency of the yawning and the the strength of the yawning I think you get what I'm talking about. Some people just yawn like, oh. then others, they open the mouth like crocodile, like for the crocodiles. <laughs> the strength of yawning shows the, the, the amount, the, 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 what, what word can I use? Not amount. The, um, the level of bondage, the level of bondage. The more you yawn, the deeper the bondage is in. So when such happens, you know, time to pray. And for people who do ministries and conferences, what and all that, this is, once you are in prayer and this happens, it means people need healing and deliverance. People need healing and deliverance. Then, um, um, uh, there is yet another experience that I found that detects evil presence. You will be in prayer 
even with eyes closed. But then you find yourself unintentionally. Yes, you may feel you're moving, but unintentionally you move to places and probably stand in a particular position or face a particular position. And that is also a sign to tell you that there is an evil presence. I remember one time, one time we were praying in a, in a certain family, we were in a sitting room, and then when we were praying and we were praying, I, 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 I felt myself walking. Yes, I knew I was walking, but I, I knew that I was being led. I, so I just gave into the walking and I, and I would walk to the kitchen. And reaching the kitchen, there was a, there was a stool, a stool, and I would reach there and face the stool and my hands stretched <laughs> against the stool. So I, it was the first time experience. I, I, I thought mm, something is amiss here, something is wrong. Either my spirituality is a miss or something is amiss. Here. So I, 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 I asked the family, um, this happened. What is there anything special with this tool? Mm. And and only to discover the, the, the them to tell me that ah this school was passed from the grandfather and grandfather and grandfather and grandfather. Now it has been passed. There, there are some things that can be passed from generation to generation which are okay. But then there are some which carry demonic consecration and that stool was one of them so the way to to detect an evil presence was during prayer you you move towards that presence and your movement there is to go and pray against it or you can face you can face uh, you can just be in prayer and you, unintentionally you find yourself Facing a particular spot. That was how one time, one time in a home, we were able to dig out charms from the ground. There was no vision, no vision shown that there is a charm that has been buried. But we were able to, and when we dug the spot, really there was charm. And we excavated it and burnt it. So these are some of the things God can show, God can use to show you that there is an evil presence. Then there is something that happens. Now, this may not always be the case, but if you're really a genuine believer and you're really immersed in prayer, it will likely be a case of uh, detecting evil presence. And what is that? You meet persons, you meet people, and then your spirit repels them. They have not done anything wrong. They have not said anything wrong. You don't hate them physically. You don't hate them really, but your spirit resists, resists them. And later, later, when you find out, you will find that this person has been in, is involved in, in evil in evil so much so that's one way to detect but please disclaimer here it is not always that when these things happen it is a must that aha now so and so is evil in this place there is witchcraft in here there is no no you have to be sure. You have to be sure. And the first condition I've given to be sure that is not any other thing but truly detecting spiritual presence, number one, there should be no cause for fatigue. You are strong. You are, you know. Then another, another I've experienced is, is unexplained yet intense hunger 
unexplained yet intense hunger. You find maybe you just had breakfast, just and a heavy one, and then 30 minutes down the road, you are in prayer, and the hunger that catches you is so you even become weak, you feel like just lying down and people should carry you. No, that's an indication that you should enter in a prayer of deliverance. There is evil presence around, evil presence around. Then in places like uh, 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 where evil is so bold, you will physically, you will physically meet evil items for example you you may meet head of of chicken you may meet funny 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 charms things tied here and there blood on your doorsteps unexplained blood unexplained source of blood and things like that physical you will see them you will notice them here there is an evil presence an evil presence now I, I will because the video is, is so long so I will end with this now there are and then don't get me wrong with this there are there are some people um who 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 suddenly get fear then you start to remember what has made me fear and there is nothing you can fathom of you can think of suddenly you Fear comes in your heart. You go in a place, suddenly, fear. Or you meet somebody, suddenly, fear. It may, and please mark my words well, I don't want people to go around misquoting me. It may be a sign, a detector that there is evil around. Now, in, in, in residential places, in your residences, you can also detect evil presence but this is not always the case so when i mention them don't go in the house and say ah they are bewitching me there is evil everywhere presence of unwanted reptiles flies can can be a sign of evil presence why because uh, monitoring spirits they don't usually come in their form they have to come in a form of something else and these monitoring spirits like to take the form of 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 um unsuspecting um creatures like insects reptiles or even big animals like dogs cats there is evil presence, evil presence in some of these things. I'm not saying every time you see a reptile or the geckos in your home or house flies or bees, ha, there is evil. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm, what I'm saying. Now, to differentiate between uh, animals, um, insects, reptiles, that carry with them evil presence from those that are just naturally abiding in your house. Do this. Evil presence cannot stand intense prayer. So if a gecko, if geckos are always in your home, it, those may be because you have a lot of mosquitoes and they are feeding from them. Or it can be also spiritual. But how do you know? I, I ask you, number one, sprinkle holy water all over your house if they are evil you will start discovering that these will die they will start dying i remember one time i went in a prayer uh, i went to visit a friend and then when we were praying the lord showed me a vision of a rat a rat so i i told him i asked him do you have rats in the house he said Yes, there are some rats that disturb. And I told him that, no, those are not uh, uh, just rats. They are, they are signs of evil presence. So sprinkle holy water in the house. And the next thing you will find out is that 
the rats will mysteriously mysteriously start dying and when he 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 did that one day the rat that was disturbing him just found it dead in a box dead in a box and i i i used to see this with me as well sometimes geckos unexplained insects in the house i just sprinkle the holy water then the following day you start seeing a gecko has died there another has died there another has died there now those are only four animals that may carry evil presence but if you pray and if you sprinkle holy water and then those things are not dying or they don't disappear then it means that they are not of evil presence yeah so i don't want you people to be to be there and you say hey robert said when you see a gecko that's evil presence no get me very very clear get me very clear and lastly i will end with this in sleep in sleep there are people who never sleep because of evil presence they never sleep when you wake up from sleep you are more tired than when you went to sleep it's a great sign of something that's happening in the spiritual that means in your sleep you're in a battle so then you wake up when you have been in a battle seriously and you're so in your sleep they are tormented with demonic dreams they are and this is signalized in their physical being the body is totally drained totally 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 drained yeah and also um a uh, lack of lack of prayer life you know especially if your prayer life has been say from a scale of 1 to 10 if it has been 8 9 10 then all of a sudden it drops to 1 2 3 and there is really no serious explanation as to why you just feel you know there no prayer life mm. there could be evil presence around so i'm sorry the video is long but i hope it's worth it may the lord bless us all tonight and have sweet dreams with the visions of angels and saints and may the lord grant you a kiss of a good night